How's it going, guys? Welcome back to Blue Sitting, and welcome back to the Princess of Stray Cat and Matters of the Heart. So, Patricia has been um, kind of kicked out of the underworld because she has a heartbeat now. She has become a living being. And we learned something really interesting. It turns out this whole time, there's been almost like a veil in front of her eyes that didn't really allow for the life to kind of come through and let her see it as it was. It came distorted and blurry, but it was all she knew, and so she kind of thought it was just the way the surface was. But then, when she attempted to go back and was rejected, she found, and has found, there is something vibrant about life. And she's not ready to say goodbye to it, and she's kind of really fallen in love with like the land and the place and Nora like they kind of already a thing now like they had a whole cuddling session in bed and it was one of the most wholesome things in this game so yeah I mean that's pretty darn good but this isn't going to be left to stand like I will it like is she really gonna be okay being forced away from her family like that sure there's a lot of great things to learn and to be a part of here but is it really what she wants is the question, you know? I just don't know. But anyway, so that's really where we are here is kind of figuring out where she is at and trying to like make sure she's okay. Because <sighs> I mean, being separated from our parents, our mom specifically, Nora's mom, is something we, we regret. And I don't know if we're ready for Patricia to have to <clears throat> stand up to having to face that. I'm sorry, I got some in my throat. I'll try and work through it. I also have a cold. So, this might not be the most clean audio you've ever heard, but I'll make the best of it, and uh, I think we'll just have to make things work as we go. But, we will continue on and jump right in with Sachi. Morning, Sachi. Morning. Nora, hello. Hey, Patricia. Hello. Oh yeah. Well, I wonder if there was more to those things. Like, I wonder if it did, like, remember this is an edited version, we've seen that. So if it went a little further, we might not even know that. Which is something I think is a disservice. Sometimes they just chop it out, they shouldn't. They still need to allude to something major, like, I don't know, um, intimate relations of any kind happen, because otherwise it can feel really weird and, like, Overdone or underdone, I guess is the proper term. What? Sorry. Yeah, I think something more happened, but it was cut out from our version. If this is the end, like if it's literally just about to end right here, and I was that close to the ending, I'm gonna kick- Oh man, that'd be really sad. I really apologize if that's what happens. It feels like it's wrapping things up, but I still feel like there's more to go over? She's getting pretty good at writing. Though her letters still kind of look like squiggles when there's no example in the practice test. Come to think of it, I guess she does practice every morning. I need to. I even got myself a book to to try and further my own my self education, and I'm planning on getting formal education in the fall. Hopefully, I I, I just want to make sure I can. But I need to just start working on it. It's just hard to find time when I'm home by myself with so many other responsibilities on my plate. That's the only kicker. I wish I had the free time I used to have. Man, I squandered so much time when I was younger. She really does love to study. She's gonna be better than me one day. Uh -oh. Oh, good, good. It was really starting I was starting to wonder if it was gonna start wrapping up. I I I am glad it's not, because it doesn't feel complete. What is this murderous rage? Uh oh. Uh Luce Lucia? It's gonna be Lucia, isn't it? I knew it! Yikes, can I get a break? Flutter. Oh no. Lucia san no ichigeki o kawashita koto de Nora wa hiragana renshu chou o otoshite shimaimasu. Miigoto da na. Kishiu demo karenu to wa. 
Yeah, but he still doesn't have cat-like reflexes, so he's in legitimate danger now. Hey, watch it, Lucia! You're stepping on the exercise book! Nani? A name label on it said Patricia in Hiragana. That's your sister's name. <laughs> what is it? No. You're the one who stepped on it. Good, that means you won't murder me for the next 30 seconds. Just forget about it. What about it? Well, if you're stuck, let's think it over together. <laughs> oh boy. Turning around. Suit yourself. Mate. Looking back. What is it? Or did you really come here to try and kick my head off my shoulders? She might have. What's that? Patricia. Jivrota? Hmm. Is he one of the kids? I found Patricia with a young boy. The boy is crying and sniffling. That's a really good voice acting right there. Why? Did something happen? He was holding a printout in his hand. Uh oh. Probably the answer sheet for a test. Can I see? You know, I got a score of only two once. No way yours is that bad. I can see the score on the test anyway. That's a solid 95. Hey, that doesn't look too bad. But then I saw the name on the test. Reed Nakamura. Uh, don't be too hard on him, Patricia. The, to the boy. Where's your real test? The boy took your test sheet from his bag. 35 points. No, it's, it's better than what I get. Just realized. I think I know why Patricia might be in trouble. She's now a living being, which means she's probably going to start aging and eventually will die. But if she dies, she may go to another world, but she won't be herself anymore. She may not even remember her old life, and thus... For mortal beings, that would be very distressing. Hmm. I don't think you should hide your test. I tried hiding mine a few times when I was a kid. I'd bury them or turn them into paper planes and throw them away. But after that, my mom got super mad at me. It didn't work for me, so instead of hiding it, I think you should just talk to your mom, right? Come on now, you're not gonna make uh, Rhea, Rhea do everything for you, are you? Alright, you can try hiding it, but in exchange, will you study properly? And you have to tell your mom that you hit it. Because she's gonna find out anyway. The boy started crying again. I promised the boy that I would study with him and we went our separate ways. We decided he'd come to the house on the next day. Hmm. I woke up. And came down the stairs. Huh? No, thank you, Sh Sachi. I walked along the beach, stretching a bit as I went. Aww. Interesting. I wonder if she's just meditating or is she actually trying to pray? It depends. I have no idea what her 
views of religion or philosophy are. Came down to the shore, where I saw her straight away. Her golden hair was fluttering in the sea breeze. Patricia was holding her hands together. What are you doing? I called to her, but she stayed silent. She just stood there with her eyes shut, holding her hands together. The sun was bright. Trisha, breakfast's ready. Hi. She was smiling when, when I, while I was expressionless. Hi. Well, just from looking at her, there's uh, there doesn't really seem to be much magic stuff going on lately. She's mostly been studying with the kids. No, this is elementary school level studying. Most likely, yes. あいつはウサギとカメで言うところのカメなのかもしれん。うん。それって竜宮城に連れてくカメか？Now, I wonder if you happen to know out of curiosity, are they referencing like a Japanese folktale that's very similar in its like proposition, and they translate it into something that I'm more familiar with, or is the tortoise and the hare story like um, also told in Japan nowadays, or even maybe in the past? Who knows? Maybe it originated as a Japanese folktale. でもあいつ変な世界から来たんだからどっちかっていうと竜宮城じゃねえのなら助けたかはあ、うん、I'm <laughs> hey, Patricia? I called out to Patricia. She spent her free time reading in the library. Uh, I'm heading back. Uh, you know, uh, have I, uh, did I help you? It sounded like such a dumb question when I said it out loud. Uh, Patricia looks at me with a confused expression on her face. できたわ。うん。じゃあ、これを採点係に回します。はい、ノラ。いや、いや。はい、お姉ちゃん何点何点ほら、ほら、邪魔しないの。ああ、she's so I graded Patricia's test while she played with the kids. Alright, Trisha, I'm done. Nante? Here, 35. Oh, It seemed like the kids from the study group had gotten used to having Patricia studying with them. One of them was Jirota, the kid who was crying in the street.私たって今この段を覚えたわ。そんなの大人なんだから当たり前だろ。しかし、次郎太くんは焼けくそでした。できないよ。子供には必ず焼けくそになる時期が来ます。消しゴムを投げたり、紙をくしゃくしゃにし
Just be the better man, even if you feel like you have to join in. If, even if you feel like you have to join in. You learn any good lessons here, but apparently it hurts. And quit it with the fake crying. Alright, kid, whatever. He was crying for real. You know, sometimes when I, I, so I was the same when I was a kid. Saying mean things and making people cry. But you've got to say sorry while you still can. It'll be too late when they're gone someday. Alright, now wipe your nose. Jeez, not my shirt. I gave you a tissue, didn't I? Okay. Yeah, there's no hiding it. Betcha she is not the kind of person to make a big deal over that. Come on. Taking Jotiro by the hand. J Jiroto. I don't know why I said Jotiro. I don't know. Let's say let's go say sorry to Patricia. これが馬馬カバに見えるで、これが魅力菩薩ハンカシーゾ。すごい。全然わかんない。Trisha。あ、なら、お帰りなさい。Alright, you're up. I gave Jorita a gentle prod forward. じ、じろ。あ、気づいてないわ。ジモ、下手だって。上手になるわ。あなたもいつまでも35点じゃないでしょ。だから私も同じこと。うん。ガシ、そう、オーソム。it's it's it's beautiful and almost sickening. <laughs> Man. Aww. Like how do you not want to protect that smile? I mean, holy crap. Oh, that's a cool attitude about it too. Patricia reached for a, a budding flower in a vase, rested her fingers on the bud, and said a few gentle words. A breeze stirred. She can cast magic? And she can cast life-based magic? The flower bud Patricia was touching suddenly sprang to life, erupting into a blossom. Dang. That's really cool. <laughs> it was real magic, but I like how she's like, I'm not gonna tell him that. <笑><笑><笑>今でも読めないものの方が多いわ。意味が取れないものもある。けれど、嫁さえすれば口に出せるし、口に出しさえすれば素敵なものは見つかるわ。That's <笑> えっとね、35点。よくできました。バカ次郎、何してんの？早く帰るよ。Oh, that's his little friend. あ、りえちゃんだ。さ、帰りましょう。僕、100点取ったら好きだって言うんだ。ああ。きっとできるわ。頑張ってね。好きになってくれるかな。嫌われたりしないかな。大丈夫。自信を持って。it's so cute! Kinda goes perfectly fine. It happens, don't worry about it. Actually, I think days like this are pretty common. So, that wasn't a magic trick, was it? After thinking for a bit, Patricia spoke. I was worried that it'd be too be dangerous if you used magic. Anatatachi 
to death. Then why did the flower blossom? If the magic wasn't too different from death, wouldn't the flower just shrivel up or something instead? Oh, so it's more like she advanced its timescape. What? Uh, huh. Yeah, I guess. It blooms. So you're saying the flower became an adult. But that's not dying, that's what we call growing up. It was really pretty. Patricia gently fell toward me and leaned against me. Fell fast asleep. I must have taken out a lot of her energy. I picked her up on my back, piggyback style. I don't like... The feeling in the air feels like there's some kind of weight or... A coming trial, burden, or, or, or fast approaching reality that we have to face. I think he knows from the conversation he had with Lucia, but I can feel it because it feels too idyllic right now. There's something else going on. Patricia was fast asleep. I could hear the sound of her breathing gently up, uh, up on my back. She must have used up all her energy from casting a spell, or maybe she was just tired out from studying with the kids. I made fun of her for things she couldn't do. Normally, that would upset people. But she didn't get angry or upset. She was able to simply smile and keep being one of the gang. That's something that takes incredible strength, I thought. She didn't feel embarrassed about not knowing things. She only wanted to learn. I am so bad at that. And my embarrassment does get in the way of me pro progressing and things. No, it must have been hard for her. You did good. As if in reply, I heard a throbbing sound, loud and clear. Oh, she about to be real upset at us. Uh, yeah. Shout she whispered in my ear, unfazed. It was a lady from the neighborhood who had stormed in on the anniversary of Mom's passing. Oh no, that's fine. あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
that's the key, I think, to a dedicated relationship, but one that's going to last a long time. So you could have a hard one. Anatany also at the one, eh? Thank you, Anita. Was it an Iwa? No, that's a great way to not answer the question. <laughs> that day I remembered. It was after Patricia started staying with us. I gazed at the stars and remembered. The moonlit clouds drifted by. Sachi, I... About Patricia. Uh, how should I put it? I, uh... Aww. How should I tell her I like her? Well, come on. Just have to tell her. Are you sure? Patricia-san,見えないものを見ようとする人です。聞こえないものを聞こうとする力のある人です。いや。それは子供と同じです。きっと。子供の際があるということです。サザンが来。この言葉自体は存在しません。目にも見えません。ですが聞こえる。耳に届き、意味を持っている。Yeah, words have always been powerful for her. Dang. Aww. It's such good advice though too. It's just like, oftentimes the words are enough. So if she tries to see things that can't be seen, I wonder how everything looks to her. Like, our, our world. ね。きっと海岸で手を合わせていたのはあなたの母親を見ようとしていたのでしょう。聞こえないものは聞こうとする人です。いや。あなたの言葉にもきちんと耳を傾けてくれると思いますし。Oh I know this is probably the, the main and cliche route of the game, but I actually really have enjoyed it. Like, you have to admit, you have to admit that Patricia as a character is one of the coolest growth arcs to kind of watch in a story like this. Like, dating sims are dating sims. There's always something interesting in them and fun. And like, I'm sure the other girls have really good arcs too, but like, this is a bit more unique. It's not as cliche as a lot of other one uh, dating sims tend to be. This is like a person from another world entirely, and yet she just wants to learn about everything. It makes me wish that I succumb to my curiosity more often, use my time and the technology of something like the internet at my fingertips to learn rather than just simply entertain myself. It makes me want to be a better person. That's kind of a cool thing to experience in something that's effectively an ecchi, you know? But it's part of the reason why I kept playing this, and why I'm glad I did. Because there are uh, dating sims that are so shallow that it's almost not worth the time. But then you get these gems where like, it absolutely is shallow. <laughs> but it has these moments where it suddenly take, makes, it's like the, the, the puddle in the, the one viral video. The person is jumping around in puddles and then they jump in the one and they sink in over their head. It's kind of like that. Night. I walked among the cherry blossoms. This is where we met. The sea was right next to me. The cherry trees lined the shore, but the sea breeze did little to deter their blossoms. I met her here, under a flood of sunlight filtering through the trees. If I hadn't met her that day, I... I guess this would just be a business as usual. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have to remember that Mom was in the sea. Patricia was there. She was looking out at the sea. Why are there fireworks? A festival is taking place on the other side of the shore. Oh yeah, that's right. There's a festival today. The fireworks went up. Patricia closed her eyes. Yeah, you can hear it from here. You must have been frantic. Yeah, but... Tell me about it. え、本で読んだの。ああ。小さな
そうビッグバンあれは宇宙の鼓動の一発目だというの the first heartbeat of the universe I've never heard it described like that before that's really cool like it's a really interesting image I've never ever considered and you're talking to someone who spent his whole life chasing after the stars でね私考えてみたの恋するとドキドキするでしょだとするなら宇宙が恋したらドキってそれってビッグバンってことでしょ Interesting. It'd be kind of a pain if the universe kept going bang bang all day. Still, I wonder who it was the universe fell in love with. 別の宇宙じゃないかしら Maybe. あるのよここ以外にも別の宇宙が Fetch like she knows? I wonder if there are two universes where we meet. I do, I do. 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 Jeez, the mood's being laid on real thick now. Fetch. Dakara, he took a car at the yoni, he shin in Arshi. Hazkashi, koto da te steshima. Sono i kai shka nai kara. Sono i kai ga tai set dakara. Ichido tomatara. Ugoki das koto a nai kara. Ichido narashtara. Narash tsuzukena kai kenai kara. Shin de mo ite. Sore wa subete he shide. Ino chigake de. Fetch. I didn't realize. So when living things fall in love, they're prepared to die. Eh, kitto so. Dakara watashi, shinu kakugo de. Iki kaeta wa. Aww. Aww, they're like cuddling. It's like hard to see with the text box, but. I'm not sure when, but the fireworks on the other side have stopped. Yanderu, hanabi, tomatchatta. Trisha. Hi. Patricia quickly turned to face me, smiling. The sound in your chest, I uh, never want to stop hearing it. So, I told her. I told her the truth about how I felt. Patricia, I love you. Aww. It's so, it's so freaking adorable, man. You're making me embarrassed. Patricia, I love you. Is there something wrong with that? I'd never said the words before. I'd never told someone that. Yeah. Aww. Her eyes were gentle. Her voice sounded as if it would melt into the night sky. She gazed into my eyes with a warm look and said, Aww. So cute. Fetch, man. Morning. I rose from the bed. Ugh. Ugh. He said it a lazy bed. Uh, I get it though. I'm such a, I'm not a morning person at all. Patricia sat on my lap, then hugged me with a super tight squeeze. Aww. Oh, morning, Patricia. Uh. I felt something soft against my lips. Aww. Whoa, what was that? That <laughs> uh, worked. A kiss works like in the morning. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy to be human and alive. Uh, uh oh. What was that sound? A magic circle. What, what the heck? What's going on? Get out of here, peeping Tom? Magic? Is that where the circle came from? Ooh, yeah. That's gonna be interesting. <laughs> Ooh, boy. Is that right? So when she feels that a tightness in her chest, Kelton show up. 
awkward bowing. <laughs> I gave a slight bow to the skeleton, trying to convey how nice it was to see it again, as politely as I could, as you do. Hmm. The skeleton said nothing. <laughs> so this is all magic, right? Of course. That's right. My girlfriend can use magic. Holy crap, I've got a magic girlfriend! <laughs> yes. What is it? Oh! Huh? Oh! Wasn't it in the dictionary? I mean, that's what. That's what the girl you like the most in the whole. That that's what that. Bleh, it means that you're the girl I like the most in the whole world. Aww. Poof. Another magic circle appeared, and another skeleton showed up. Hello again. You don't say. Please don't explode. Oh, what a coincidence! I feel the same way too, but maybe we should hold it in a bit? Well, I mean, I don't want any more skeletons in here. Oh, yes. Yeah, I am. But do you want to uh, put the skeletons away? I mean, it's not like... It's, it's, not, it's not like I like you just because you can use magic. You don't have to have a reason to fall in love. What? Sorry, that wasn't me trying to be cool. And besides, I already told you at the beach, remember? Thank goodness, she's finally going to put the skeletons away. Hi. Oh, uh, oh, nope, she was angling for another kiss. Wait, you want to- with the skeletons here? Yeah, but it's kind of embarrassing having an audience. <laughs> That's not healthy! <laughs> Shut it your mouth. What the heck are you laughing at? I guess, but... Man, this is a whole other level of... Very strange. But, but... But... Calm down, okay? Wait, I can't just jump in when you say it like that. That's a weird way to kiss someone. At least put the skeletons away, okay? Poof, the magic circles vanished, taking the skeletons with it. Whew, you know, it might be a good idea if we had make sure no one's around when we kiss. That way, we can be serious about it. Yeah, I will. Dang, man, this is... It's funny, because, like, it's their own version of it. This whole conversation is an interesting one to have with people. Again. Alright, one more time. Can't believe I'm waking up to kisses. Thought I was on top of the world. Without a moment's hesitation, I pulled Patricia in close and kissed her. Fetch. Well, head, shoulders, goodbye. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh, uh. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. Ohayogodaimasu. It's been great. It's not what it looked like. You're not helping. You don't realize what you're saying. Look, Lucia, there's a reason for all this. Me and Patricia are going out now. I wasn't ready for that. I wasn't just dreaming, was I? お付き合いしそうな予兆はありましたが、おめでとうございます。シャッチさんは知っているの？お付き合いが何か？え、ですがこういうことはお二人で確かめ合っていくことが大切ではないかと。シャッチ、you just want to see me dead, don't you? しかし、お付き合いというものにあんなにもフラチな行為が伴うのであれば、お付き合いなど。
でも私はフラチな気持ちでしてはいないわしかし私にはそう見えたフラチな気持ちで見るからフラチに見えるのよあーはーな私はそんな気持ちで見てはいない What? Yeah, what's happening? Listen, I'm gonna treat Patricia properly, so... 大切にするのは当たり前ださあ、朝ごはんにしましょうお姉さま私はこの人のものになってもいいってそういう純粋な気持ちで唇を重ねたのどうだろうなこの男にそんな大きな気持ちがあるとは思えん<笑> She really wants to punch me right now It's true ありえんいただきますはい、はい、いただきますいただきますでもお付き合いって何なのかしら Oh well it's the first time for me too もしお付き合いというものが清く美しいものであるのならまだ目をつむろうしかしそうでなかった場合お前の唇を奪うまでだ What? ん何を驚いている当然ではないか Uh, you said you'd have my lips. 腕を奪う。足を奪う。視野を奪う。唇を奪う。Yeah, okay, good. She was me ripping them off. Maybe that's not so good. 貴様の顎より上を破壊するということだ。Oh my gosh. 一瞬だけ言葉が複雑骨折しましたね。Yeah. Yeah. And now she wants to have the way with my face. 形はとどめぬ。そうすれば。パトリシアと重ねることも不可能だろう。All right, I get the idea. Look, I'll prove it to you that this is totally innocent. Trisha, give me your hand. で、つなぐのあ、ちょっと嬉しいかも。I think this is part of going out. じゃあ、私もいいかしら。What's that? 私以外の女性と話すの禁止。Oh, Patricia, I thought that jealousy reared ugly head eventually. Sorry, what? So much for innocent love. So, k u b a k y o It's bondage. <laughs> uh, b- bondage? Otskiai to you mono ga wakarana kata kara. Asahara san ni kite mita na. Well, don't ask Yuki. So, stara ko yu ketsuron ni natta na. Dai len ai maho. So, k u b a k to you mono ga aru. We need to talk about who you talk to about these things. It won't work on me. Eh, so na no? You ban- if you banned me from talking to other girls and actually stuck, I wouldn't be able to talk to Sachi, Yurisha, or Lucia anymore, right? Oh, really? Yeah. You'll have to find the right place and time to use it. That's r i She didn't know what going out means, like, at all. But I couldn't blame her, so I was much different. Ah, so, so. But, I think I'm going to be able to talk to Hiragana Oh, yeah. ついに難しいと言われていた感じも少しくらいなら読めるようになったわ。Oddly, Patricia, I'm jealous. <laughs> That's great. You really have been studying every day. するとどうなるでしょう、uh, What do you mean next? Hmm, let me guess. You're going to read more of the TV section. 正解はだんだんと命の魔導書が読めるようになってきた。Oh, oh, oh. Final Grimoires. いえ、マジ。この時ノラはようやく気づきました。お付き合いをするということは、いずれその扉を開ける時が来るということです。Oh、boy. そして、パトリシアさんが文字が読めるようになるということです。女でもできたか How did you know? Hey, uh, what does going out actually mean? Eh? No, 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 お付き合いとは何なのかしら、so、everyone knows. <laughs> no one knows what it means, though. ノラと王女と野良猫ハート。Oh, this is, this is hilarious. 
えお付き合いですかあ、みち。You were probably my top pick initially. I'm really gonna have to see what your route was consistent like before I do my wrap up for this series, that's for sure. Because you're hilarious. <laughs> she's of no. She, could, I'm, she would be so frustrating, but she's also hilarious, so it'd be kind of worth it. But I think that's a good place for us to stop. We will explore the definitions of going out next time, but it's been fun. Man, I liked this episode. This one just made me feel super happy. It was just sweet and just fluffy and good. And I, I, I like how the series, this isn't ending with them going out. It's actually going to progress into like the scary relationship first time stuff. It's going to be great. But thank you so much for being here today. As always, it's a pleasure having you around. Sadly, I just found out that Saturday we will not be doing a live stream with Meltica Melty. She's got some stuff coming up. Totally understand. It's all good. I might try and use the time to do other projects for the channel anyway. So it's probably for the best because I got a lot of stuff to prep for, including a stay the channel that I probably am going to come out with sometime. Actually, you know, I, maybe that's what I'll do. I'll work on that this Saturday. I'll get it ready and then maybe next Saturday we'll publish it. So I uh, look forward to seeing that soon, hopefully. I really hope I get that done soon. Anyway, thank you guys so much for being here today. Thank you so much for joining me on the channel and through this series. It's a pleasure having you here. I hope you enjoy it and I hope you stick around for the next one. You know, I I feel like we are getting to the ending eventually. But I still I think there's gonna be a confrontation with the Netherworld before it's all gonna be over. But we'll get there when we get there. So until the next video I want you to be able to see me next. I'll see you there.